in addition to embryo freezing, which has become very routine and has contributed well over half a million children from IVF procedures since the inception of IVF therapy several decades ago, it has been somewhat of a, an elusive goal to attempt to routinely freeze the human oocyte or the human egg, the unfertilized egg. The egg is exquisitely sensitive to the freezing uh, procedure, and it's for this reason that we've struggled over the decades to achieve routine success with this approach. It has been a goal of mine and also GRS's to uh, uh, improve on the protocols that have been published. And we have developed a successful approach to egg freezing referred to as vitrification, which is routinely giving us well over 65% survival of all eggs that we, we actually freeze and cryostore. The beauty of egg cryopreservation is and will be increasingly the ability for us to limit the number of eggs that we inseminate so we can actually cryostore the balance of, of eggs so that we limit the generation of the number of embryos for any given couple, we will be able to routinely freeze and store donated eggs so that we can just thaw out those that we need to, to donate to any recipients, women unfortunate enough not to be able to have healthy eggs of their own. And for a, another very important area of, of therapy, we will be able to store and perhaps preserve the fertility of those women about to undergo extensive chemo or radiotherapy.